Hey there guys, welcome back to Nimby Realms. I've, just before starting, I've built Middlesbrough. I've not yet connected it up because that yard looks like it's going to be difficult to build, so I'm going to leave it for a bit. Um, but today we're going to head out towards Whitby. Hopefully there's no track diagrams on Traxy for this, so I'm using my booklet, my quail track diagram, to help. Alright, first things first, just to work out where all the stations are starting with James Cook, which is somewhere down here, by the looks of it. I'm gonna go with there. That looks like a reasonable guess. Um, probably only needed to be like 150 metres long. It's only a single track line, the trains aren't gonna be lengthy. James Cook University Hospital. Or James Cook, I'm not actually sure what it's officially called. Well, that map reckons it's just called James Cook. Okay, maybe my trail, my trail, quail diagram is out of date. Wouldn't be the first time. So we'll just bring the track round the curvature here and connect it up. That'll do. It was on an S-bend, so it's not going to be noticeable that I was slightly off there. That, however, is irritating. I'm going to have to viaduct that bit of road. There we go. Okay, James Cook. Next stop is Martin, formerly Ormsby. <clears throat> it's not far, it's just on this road here. So, again, just to put it in. There we go, Martin. Well, yeah, that might be actually be because it's just single track. I'm just going to put in a couple of stations, then connect all the tracks up. So next is Gypsy Lane, then Nunthorpe. So Gypsy Lane is here on this curved road, and give it a name because the game is incapable of giving names. So, um, I'm now playing on the 1.3 beta. As far as I can tell, it doesn't serve a great deal of difference to me currently. Um, it's mainly been the population layer has been updated, and is a lot more accurate now. Um, the path signals have been made more accurate. There's a regions layer which is quite nice. I feel like it could be useful. And then um, there's tags that I've yet to work out the purpose for, so we'll have to see about that. Also just remembered, I, down, I installed a couple more workshops items that I have to now enable. There we go. I'm sure we'll get around to using them at some point. Anyway, back to the station. We have a single track. Snumthorpe is a double track station, but it is just a passing loop. That double track doesn't continue anywhere. So we'll just put a set of points in there. Work out weirdly, platform 2, this uh, the one on this side, is bi-directional, but platform 1 is only single directional. Weird. Slightly unusual. Anyway, continuing up, we come probably, I'd like to say through that gap, but then, how do I get across that river? How does it do? How, how does the map do? It reckons I just go straight across that river. Well, that's fine, but it does require a viaduct. Luckily, I now know that if you hold control, it snaps to a straight. which makes viaducts a lot less ugly. That said, I am going to have to make that one on a curve anyway, so only serves so much for purpose. Then we come out of Martin to James Cook. Sorted. We've made it to Nunthorpe, which also means we've made it to the bottom of the page, so I can turn the page to the next one. 
Um, next stop is Great Aiton, apparently. So that is quite a distance away by the looks of it on the map. Okay, it's sort of down here in Great Aiton, surprise, surprise. I think, looking at it, it's in this area. Yeah. There. It's not actually really in Great Aiton, but there you go. Great Aiton. And I'm just going to connect it up while I'm at it. Because this one's a little complicated. Um, not least because I've just already done it wrong. I think we come around here and up. And then at some point there's a sharp left turn. So if I just look at the map quickly to work out where that is, it is... Okay. It looks like we come up here and then turn to follow around there. By the looks of it. So there used to be another line off up there and that's that's been pulled up now. So... Come round over a viaduct again because it's on a slight curve. I can't use the little control trick, but oh well. And in, and then the set of points off into the other platform at Dunthorpe. Now we get a bit more complicated because the next stop is Battersby. So first things first, we have to work out where Battersby is and shock horror. It's in Battersby. I know that that has come as a bit of a surprise to me. Um, actually, it's not in Battersby. It's near Battersby, but not in it. So now working out actually where it is, it's going to be interesting. Okay, Battersby is off to the right east. By the looks of it, that's... One of the lights comes down there. The other one goes out there. So the station itself is here. That looks right. Okay. So we give it a double track station. I'm going to make this one slightly longer. And by the looks of it... I mean, only one platform is in use, but it is a double track station. There's a little head shunt here. And then... Something else down the other end. The head shunt is actually important because this station connects up to the... Well, this line connects up to the North Yorkshire Moors Railway at Grosmont. So it can be used as a method to transfer trains to and from that railway, but you need to be able to get the steam train to the other end at Battersby, where the trains turn around. Right, it comes out here and round, and then curves over these two roads. I'll just viaduct both of them while I'm at it. That's going to be easier. Can I seriously not get across that river? Okay then. We'll come up in a straight line and then just blast through the middle of that forest, I guess. Into Great Aiton. Out the other side of Battersby is Kildale, um, which I would imagine to be near or in Kildale. Uh, it is in it, but whereabouts in it? Uh, actually, no, it's not. It's in this part of Kildale up here. The station is there, by the looks of it. Not Church House Farm. 
Hilldale. There we go. And then we have Commondale. Which I would imagine to be in or near Commondale. But I'll check the map. Actually quite a way away. Um, Commondale. Let's try and work out where that is compared to the roads. Looking at it, it's probably here. And then give it a name again as standard, Commondale. Continuing on, we've got something. What have we got next? Castleton Moor. And that's down near Castleton. Surprise, surprise. Here. Well, there's the little thing that looks like it could be a footbridge because it probably is a footbridge, even though there's only one platform. Castleton Mall. And then... Danby. This is a long line. Just to clarify, there's a lot of stations going on. Danby is over here. The station is down at the bottom. And we'll just move it over here so it doesn't hit the river. Tanby. How many more have we got before the next junction? Still a couple. Lealholm. Which I imagine would be in Lealholm. That might be a bold assumption. It's not, I'm not wrong. It is up here in... Just, just out to the north of the village. Neil home and then Glazedale, which is the next passing point. And that is in I believe Glazedale. Actually I'm not sure it is. Looking for a certain shape of road. Yeah, it's over here. Well then, uh, we'll give it 200 metres. Glazedale. There we go. Spelt that right, I think. And now we'll go connect all the tracks up. So, first things first, this line comes out and... How do we get across that river? We sort of curve up like this and cross up here. And then it can curve back around slightly, I guess. I'm just, I am guessing, because it's a lot of effort to check the map. And it's going to be close enough to this, so. There we go. If I move that node in, make that curve a little better. Um, I guess I should connect up the other track here. There we go. At the top of Leal Home, we have to curve around to the side to go through that gap. And then... I reckon if we stay this side of the river, it's probably best. Though quite how we get over there, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see how we do. But I'm going to go for it. I think if we come up this way, we should be able to manage it. That'll do. It's <laughs> good enough. Um, pull out from Castleton Moor into the other side of Danby. There we go. And... Um, it's a good thing I looked for the station, otherwise I would have continued in the complete wrong direction. 
Well, the shape of that river, I think the railway does that over it. And we come round and in. And that's awkward. Yes, if I do that, that's probably the best way to do it. North out of Battersby. I have to cross that road somehow. There's no way around that. I have to cross that road. Well, there we go. And I think it's just this one gap left to connect up. So I have to somehow get it over there. That is not the right way to go. Looking at it, I think I need to fall through that gap. So the track comes up here. Yeah, it looks like it crosses the river there. Okay, I think I've worked it out. So I need to cross the river there, which requires a viaduct, apparently. Bring it down here, and then in. And then on this side, we need to come out of the station, work our way into that gap, and follow it round to the track we just built. Over there. Sorted. We've connected up to Glazedale. That's not nearly at the end yet, so... Um, we might not finish the line today. <laughs> Exton next is... not too far away, in Egton Bridge. Station goes there. Give it a name. Egton. No, name it please. Egton. There we go. It's nice to see that the station naming is still just as temperamental as it always has been. Um, I have to get out of there somehow. Let me just look at the map again. See how the railway gets out of there. Okay. I'm thinking just a, a straight up viaduct to there is probably a good start. Then we come round here, we viaduct again, and we'll stay on a viaduct because we're going to cross the river again over here. And we wrap round up there. That feels sensible. Have the set of points to get into the other platform. and round to Egton. Then we have a vaguely fun station at Grosmond, which I now have to work out the layout of. So, first I have to work out where it is actually, um, and the answer to that would be in Grosmond. So there's a two track platform there, which I want to be reasonably lengthy. 200 metres wouldn't go amiss if I can manage it. There's a single track over here that can be a bit shorter. And there's the single track out here, and this is for the main line. That's all Grosmond. And then I'm going to wrap this track round back to whether that was Egerton. Already forgotten the name. Um, I'll probably just direct line it because I don't really know where it goes. So across there, that gap looks like it's where it goes, and then up to the station. Sure, that'll do. It's <laughs> good enough. Grosmont is where the North Yorkshire Moors Railway splits from the main line, but actually, it's rather unique in that. It also shares the main line for a couple of stations, all the way to Whitby, um, which is now what I'm trying to work out how this junction works. So by the looks of it, 
I need to have this line come out here nicely following the edge and then crossing the river and I'll stop the other side of the river for now and then the two I need to zoom in on the map even more to see exactly what's going on okay it looks like we have two the two double track thing or you know just the double track if you're so inclined carries on out here as two sidings up to the river then there's a split here that crosses all the way over to here and that's a double slip which I can make it's a little complicated and will look a little messy but it is possible to make there we go that's mostly it there's a set of points coming off here that goes out into the other platform and another little siding off here like so okay I'm not going to do the south side of Grosmont yet because that will be done when I do the heritage railways as we continue along the line, we get to Slates at some point. Um, I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'm reasonably confident I'm pronouncing that wrong, actually, if I'm honest. I believe the station is next to this footbridge. So, we'll give it the station. It's not called Footbridge. It is called Slates. And then we have... Um, I appear to be missing a station, Rust Warp. Doesn't appear to be labelled on Open Railway Map properly, but it is there. It does exist. The station is here. You can just see that's going to end up in an annoying river crossing, can't you? And then up to Whitby. Which is going to be an interesting one. So, I think if I make where well, actually is it in Whitby? That that seeming to be my problem. Is it here next to the library? Okay, we have one platform there. We have one on the other side, and in between them we have a nice little track and that comes from there sorted and that's the run round loop for the steam trains so Whitby um, I to rename Russ Warp I may have forgotten that ok then let's get the track carry on where does it go? What happens to the track north of Crossmont? Let me look at a map again. It goes all over the place. Okay, it sort of actually continues like this. And then comes across another bridge here. And then across again here. And then it comes in and follows the curvature of this forest a little bit. Which is a little deceptive because it actually goes through this forest. But there's not a gap marked for it. And it suddenly curves off and crosses this river twice. Follows this curvature and then suddenly turns north 
and back to the east to come in across the river again here and into Slates. Out the other side I think is a little easier. So we do sort of just follow the river up. Um, okay, that was not what I wanted. Into that gap, we'll follow the curvature around. And then across the river into Russwarp. Out the other side, we continue out, and then there is some sort of yard as we approach Whitby that I need to be careful of. It does now connect. On my map it doesn't connect, but... Unless this is the station for the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Well, I thought it was there. Basically, the two maps really disagree in the track layout. And I'm not sure which one to follow. Well, I'm kind of following Traxy because I feel like it's more accurate. I could actually go and look on Google Maps and see on the satellite view what it looks like. Coming in there. Let me, let me look at satellite view quickly. So we're looking at Whitby, which is there. Satellite view. Okay, yeah, they are in the same station. So next to the car park, around here, there's a set of points off. And that comes in to the other platform. And then there's a set of points off there, off the inside, which is really awkward, into the passing loop. And then off of here into the two sidings, which at the other end don't rejoin the main line, but I'll admit it is underneath a bridge, a road bridge, so you can't really see. Um, yeah, that's down here. They end there. So, then that wraps round, and we have another set of points here to connect the two sidings together. Sorted. Right, it's done. Middlesbrough to Whitby. <laughs> Let's build the blueprints. I'm not going to set up the route now because it's already been half an hour. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.